Hello, hello, so welcome back to my channel. If you are missing me for the very first time, you're welcome. For your channel subscriber, thank you for always stopping by. Thank you for always supporting me. Thank you for always sharing me. We love you. So, guys, it's another beautiful day. Today is Monday, and um, today I'm going to be doing a kind of um chick chats, okay? And uh, I'm going to be a mock bank and also chat with you guys. So, yesterday was Sunday. So I went to a uh, couple's dinner night with my husband and I learned a lot of stuff and I said, okay, let me just come in here and share with my family because I know you guys are going to enjoy it. You guys are going to love it. Okay. I wanted to get some clip for you guys yesterday, but um, I could not, but I will try and start if I can see maybe any of the pictures we took or videos I can just attach it to any but if we didn't see it, just know that I couldn't get any. So you guys, we went to church yesterday. So a lot of things was revealed about marriage. A lot of things happened. A lot of things. Come on, let me just show you guys my food before we go into that video. Go down. Okay. Yep. So this is curry. Hmm? And this is my veg. You can see it very well. So this is vegetable soup. Let me show you guys very well. So guys, that is the vegetable soup that I made the other day. So. That's what I'll be using, and in here I have my apple merenda. Yep, and of course, water. All right, so guys, I actually washed my hand. Yeah, I washed my hand. Okay, I washed my hand. So let's just dive into the video. Come join me. You know what happened on this video right now i noticed that my focus was much on the food so i had to cook, finish the food before coming back to share with you guys but anyway we still have this one so i think i'll be sipping this one while i talk but it's still for the other mm -mm. and the thing is that i've not had anything i was hungry that that's it so and um i hardly eat and talk so so that is why it was a bit too difficult for me to um cope with it so yeah i think sipping drinks is more is yeah. um it was a very big lesson to me and i'm like i have a beautiful family out there that would want to learn and also um share the opinions at the comment section what they think and um their own take on it it was yes. offline by the main department so they have everybody they came with their wives so it was all about marriage, family, and all that good stuff. And there was a whole lot of packages and a whole lot of new things to lay. Okay, so it's always good and necessary for you. So once in a while, you will just attend any any program just for you to kind of renew your vow and also to remember the things you once promised each other. So if you are the kind that still think that or usually imagine yourself a homie of all people even with this kind of person who is this person is in fact you are not even my kind of person or you feel like this your spouse is not doing it all my dear nobody will marry you better than your husband nobody will marry you better than your wife and you know that for more two persons to agree to become husband and wife there is bond there is this a bond that brought them together there is one thing that that lead them to meet okay and if you watch very well you know that so many husband they meet at the party at the road the vehicle any place any place it can actually be where you went to ease yourself you can meet somebody who just exchange contact for you know people start dating so is that possible so that means there is a bond there's this that's connection that connection is just simply showing you and telling you that this person is actually the right person for me i know that sometimes when there's a traumas and other issues at home you feel like why did i end up with this kind of person i am not even his kind or whatever but just mind you that that person is the best for you no man is going to marry better than your husband nobody's going to treat you weller than that man that you're staying with so if you think that maybe what that person is not doing it right just just forget about that thoughts on your marriage and work on it so they were also talked about financial um support and also how to be plain and um also to a kind of when you want to invest on your children and also to plan for some to invest on something uh it should be very um uh, open it should be an, a platform for every avenue for everyone to talk to open up to 
you are supposed to, for him to know whatsoever that is in your mind and whatsoever that you or you want as a person and it shouldn't be something you would just be like i will do it alone okay let it be that openness the platform she is open for you to contribute and also to tell us spouse that this is how much people are going to save and this is the kind of money people will be spending a month okay even though now things are really difficult it's monthly um stuff might not even have that actual amount because you might end up spending more than that or you might not spend base i don't know so and they also talked about sex you know the the like in fact yes i was like pastor said something yesterday he said there's no sweet marriage without sex mm -hmm. yes so and i don't know but anyway anyone you guys feel like you can just comment at the comment so you said that any sweet marriage or you see husband and wife they keep constantly feeling all right feeling fine being a good friend just mind you that they are you see that uh, uh, midnight uh, play is always there it must not be midnight though so don't get this one twisted so what am i saying is that it's is that is it's something that um you have the right to request for whether you are a man or the woman there because i know so many people find it difficult to approach when it comes to uh, that activities let's just call it activities up for you guys know so the so many people find it difficult to request for the activities as a lady and they always wait for the man to request for the activities whereas i know maybe in them the reality services they are actually feeling the activities you get so the the preaching one yesterday was for you whatever you are you feel like they are tested to conduct activities you can actually approach so so let me also talk about a uh, um third party they also talked about third party and uh they made it uh, clear for us to understand that it's very difficult for a family to be strong if you constantly invite third party in your home. No matter what, it should be something you should tackle with your spouse or talk about it, discuss about it. Let everybody know that this is what you want and this is what you wanted. Don't involve third party in your home, all right? Because they might not be of help to you or they might, I don't know, but that was it, okay? And the lot of thing was mentioned. I can't remember because I, I, I jotted a lot of things. I'm using the particular phone to do this video, but anyone I remember, I will still talk about it. So they made mention of how to train your children. Um, like sorry, for instance, they also said <clears throat> sometimes when a man maybe came back and the child did the one particular thing that did it to that the child did it to be punished, the wife would be like, "So when I was pushing the baby at the labor room, were you there?" Okay, now it brings me to Odogo and Aisha. Because sometimes whenever the husband says something, say, Chicho, okay, don't give up my innocent child. Chicho, okay, don't use your babyism. Chicho, okay, you get. So that kind of stuff should not be done because actually it was the boat to the hardy child. That you are the one that went to the labor room to push a child was your own tax as a woman for you to push a baby. It's not the man's task. If it's the man's task, he would have been the one to go give the bed the baby but because it was your own task and that before we are born that it has it has been in existence that it should be the woman giving birth so why the man will be the responsible for the pregnancy but that the day it must be you as a woman so just always understand the fact that it must be you okay so don't just feel like maybe it was a punishment but it wasn't a punishment all right so that is it and some reasons why some couples they, they keep on fighting is that devil knows that those two persons are so precious and they knew that for the two to be in good time they're going to move mountains so whenever there's differences the other person should always realize that mm, i know the devil is somewhere and they also talked about um being honest with your husband um they talked about phone because i know so many people their phone is their most private stuff in ever ever they value their phone more than their private mm. but okay so they now said if you know there's no cockroach in your cowboy so i don't think there's any reason for you to lock your phone for any security code because she is your wife he's your husband so yeah, the phone is, is something that you can actually just like you i'm holding remote you can just drop it here anyone can actually change stations you get so just like you and your husband anybody can pick the phone any actually where um anybody can use each other's phone to make calls to do anything to browse and all of that stuff if you knew that you are genuinely in love and you know there's nothing hidden between you and your spouse there's no need of you hiding your phone or 
keeping security record and in the same arena they also talked about if you know that checking the man's phone will increase your bp do not touch their phone like i don't know i don't understand what are you just searching for you do keep any there you have big phone i have big phones i think uh, if i don't have a time i will collect your phone and make call i will even take, and most of the time say almost all my numbers in, almost all the numbers in my phone is my husband's is in my husband's phone like most of my family members know it's there so the only number that's not in my husband's phone are my friend's number my personal friend's number even some of my office people some of their phone number is there because sometimes i might not have a time so i have to use my husband's phone to come and I later i will save so i don't even see reason for that one but anyways i don't know so they also talked about handling your in-laws you know sir, there are some ungrateful in-laws okay there are people that even despite even no matter how good you try to be with them they will still complain so they also talked about it that even though you do the right thing like i know as an adult you know whenever you do the right thing your spirit will tell you that you've done the right thing and whenever you do the wrong thing your spirit will also tell you that what you did is wrong so just keep being yourself keep doing the needful keep pushing don't allow anybody to um to take happiness away from you and don't feel like and doing it is of no use um loving them is of no use and just remember that you are not marrying your husband alone once you are married all your husband people all their family members all their relatives they are literally your husband so you have to also give them their own respect and whenever they pay visits take care of them do not feel like they have come to finish your food the food is just something they will take like two or three days or a week if at all the person will still go back you go on with your family nobody's going to drag your family with you always be open to them make friends with them whenever they are coming to your house so that they don't feel bad coming to meet you okay whenever you are they are called for you to come or if there's any need for them to come they'll feel happy to stay with you and also to come to your house because they know definitely they are going to take care of them so just do the need even if they don't locate the love just do the need for so that is it I don't need for somebody to tell you the right thing you need to do. And they also talked about what men want from their wife and what um, women want from their wife. And some of, so, many, so many people are like, um, that some men doesn't help them work at home. And let me bring it this way. I am just contributing this one in my own way. Some men are very good in their own way. Like, this, it's not a must that the person must help you, but if you are lucky, that husband is the kind that can help you whenever you are cooking, you are good to go. But he's not the kind of person that will help you while cooking. I think you will just um, do your stuff, okay? Because every man has that one thing that he doesn't do, that he doesn't do right. So, and as a person, you have to take the good aspect of that person. There are people that will help, they cook more than the wife, they clean the house, they wash, they do everything. Even market, if you leave them, they'll still go for market runs for you. But some men are not like that. So, anyone you find yourself, just encourage it, embrace it, because nobody's going to treat you more well like that. To do. So, what am I saying? I think this video is becoming too long, and I don't want to talk much. If you love this and you want to know more, because there are a lot of, a whole lot of, of what they taught us and i would want to share and if you want to if you guys would also love to hear this just comment that with the, at the comment section i'm going to make it part two and also bring us some other points that we are that was be points out yesterday and was also addressed and how to handle it and also to tackle it so if you're interested i'm going to be dropping another video on this but if you're not interested so let me just wrap up this one thanks for watching we love you and i'm going to see you guys in my next video bye